and the F-18 from NASA. Sophia is open now. People can go and see the telescope, and that is just a beautiful thing. What are we about to see? Yeah, it's a beautiful sight, Rick. Like you said, we saw Sophia this morning, talked a lot about Earth science. Now we good. Not good. Here comes the G3 again as the fighter. Now they're going to take the F-15, the F-18, take about 10 minutes to get up into the corner. You see that long probe out the back of the, uh, the G3 as well, so there's all sorts of things on board. Yeah, we use it as, as a science test bed. It's just like our pilots, Rick, our aircraft need to be versatile. We need to be able to do all sorts of different things. And our jets, other two jets, continue to climb up into the corridor. It was right out there in front of the as all of that happened. Yeah, and that's exactly where two days before, actually, in the seventh powered flight, he came back because the shockwave had hit the hinge and he couldn't control pitch. There they are. I can see I've got the F-15. Tally ho, straight up there. Approaching 11 o'clock, coming right at us now. So now, folks, if you can envision that being a boat on the water and the wake coming off of that boat, there are shock waves coming off of that aircraft right now. And that's what we eventually hear down here on the ground as a sonic boom. So that was 30 seconds after it happened. And now the one that happened first, we'll hear in just a few moments. And there were the two thumps there. And how much quieter was that? But between that first boom and the second boom, it's, the decibel level is actually significantly different. and I see that we've got Don Patrol getting ready to go, Matt, so I want to thank you and everybody at Armstrong. Thanks. Happy 75th anniversary.